Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody's wanting me to help them with this city map. And they sent me this copy, and I'm guessing they want the water outline. So I've already traced it, traced pretty good. Can't really use it for anything, but the I'm gonna use it for the shape of the island or shape of the end of the city and the water. So I've already uh, started deleting some of the parts of the outside that we do not want. And um, I'm just gonna delete some things that aren't really part of the water. See, I don't really know about that, it probably is. So I might have to do something different there, but. And uh, you just really need the, the rough shape. And I'm thinking these are pieces of peninsula docks or sandbars or built up. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot easier when you know your map. And, um, you know, we only need to get rid of some of the stuff that's on the outside of it. And I'm gonna show you in just a second, hopefully. Don't worry about the little indentions because we can fix them later. And we're almost done. I don't really know what, and that's why I made a duplicate. That looks like all land, so I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna take a rectangle starting at the bottom and go up and over. And then some of the parts in here that I don't want the, I don't know what this is. See, that's why it would really help you if you knew, if you knew the land and evidently he does. So hopefully this will give him a good idea. And I'm gonna make the rectangle just a little bit bigger. And then I'm hopefully gonna fill this in. And I'm gonna use black. There was something hidden up there, but I hadn't deleted yet. So fill it in with black. That, that worked pretty good. I'm gonna call that a hit. I should have maybe made my rectangle a little bit bigger. Either that there's something hidden right here. Yeah, there's something right there. So this should work. Fill this in with black. Now it went into the canals in the streets, but that's really okay. I'm gonna nudge it out of the way because we can left click, right click, and we can't really use these streets. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back up here. I actually got a better copy that first time. Because it didn't get into the it didn't get into the streets, and that's really what I want. So I'm going to nudge that over, and nudge this over, and then I'm going to nudge over my rectangle, and I'm going to fill this in with red. So there's the shape of my city. I'm going to actually turn this one. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to turn it blue for water. I'm gonna turn the city, just for now, I'm gonna turn it um, to light gray. I don't know if this person wants to print it or what he's doing with it. Now, this is where we've kind of messed this up and this is uh, not as sharp as this one because this is the trace, I can delete this. And I can, I'm gonna group this all together and I actually got a little part down there, I don't know what it is. Oh, I guess it's that piece of land. I'm gonna group all this together. Go to object and group. And then I'm gonna nudge this over. And I'm gonna put that, go to object, order, front of page. So now my map, is exactly on top of the other map. And it's good that it goes past. Now, <clears throat> there's no really easy way to do this, with the exception of just hand drawing line. Uh, 
unless you get a really good map, a really good copy, it's not going to trace and because it's going to have all these lines in it. So we're going to take a, 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 a freehand tool. We're going to leave it as a hairline. I got the two-point line because that's what I use the most. And just try to get it close. And I'll show you in a second. You know, we're just going to go around the city. This is evidently a road that goes around the city. Now I'm going to make it thicker and I'm going to make it black. And if you move this out of the way, you can see it actually working when you make it thicker the size of that road. 10 points, 20 points. That's about the size of that road. Now, you, I didn't hit OK. And really, we don't want it that thick yet anyway. Let's go 10 points in black. Got to hit OK. Now, you can maneuver this road around. Take your shape tool. Like I said, there's nothing, there's nothing easy about this, but it's, it's not that hard once you get the, the, the main roads down. Some of these roads are going to be straight. You know, if you get to a part right there, just delete the node, delete the node, and see if you can't. And also, keep in mind that I've made a lot of maps and mainly around water. Nobody's going to be driving off of them. Nobody's going to look at them later and go, so here you need to turn this into a cusp. So right click, turn it into a cusp, and then only one handle at a time moves. So you could do that and bring this down. I'm just going to do a couple of roads for this person. And what's so neat about this is that you're not really drawing on your new map yet, but it is going to be there. Delete some nodes, and you might hopefully be able to do a better job than I can. I added a node. You can double click and add a node. I evidently didn't bring the the road down far enough. You can always just take that node and just drag it and then double click, add a node, put a curve to it. It's always easier to just take a two, uh, that's almost a two point line. A lot of times a two point line and just get on that node and you can see it's not as thick as the original or I guess it is almost. And I'm gonna call that good. So see, now your other maps on top, if you nudge that out of the way, there's your road around your island. We might have to bring it in off these piers a little bit, because they should be identical. Well, try to grab right on the node. But you can do all that stuff later. And what's so neat about this, just put it back. And the other roads are gonna be easier because they're straighter. I would do the major roads first, and you don't have to put in every road. You know, I would put in maybe every road that has a text on it. And I, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. You know, then he wanted to add like the capital, um, you know, some other points of interest. Uh, I don't know what kind of center that is, but surely he'll know and just you know, have fun just drawing. You know, take your two points, and you don't have to make all the lines the same size at first. You know, just start drawing some lines. Go from there to there. If you see a little bit of curve, go from there to there. If you see a little curve, because you could always uh, change the thickness of the line. Straight roads are really easy and you can make them all the same. Now, if you ever get like I just did there and you, you're you off, just grab your shape tool and grab the end of that node and put it right there. Like here, I needed to, I didn't have it all the way down the map. I hope I'm not just jabbering, uh, hoping this is helping somebody. And you know, you just start making your roads. And then, like I said, once you get it on the map, just move it over, grab those roads, make them black, make them whatever thickness you want. 
And then after you do that, just start drawing in some side streets. If you want them named, I actually think you don't need very, you know, you might need this major road and this major road. And, you know, he wanted to put little pinpoints. Well, you've got your map right there. You know, if you want to pinpoint that center, um, I wish I knew Spanish. This looks like a convention. You know, just put a circle, fill it in with black, and then move your map away. And because our map is actually taller, we can easily move it back and forth. Now, depending on whether you're going to print this or engrave this, uh, about the water, you know, if you're going to engrave it, you would cut it out and have this layer of wood and this layer of, and he probably wants to do the other side. You know, I don't know if this is another city or whatever, um, but it's, it's pretty easy. It is time consuming, but if you just keep jumping back and forth, you'll get it and then you just need to go around and make sure you know, that your roads, and this is where your shape tool can help. And then you don't want all the roads the same thickness and so on and so on. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.